Hey folks, uh, welcome to the Shoemakers Academy. I'm Wade Motawi. I am your shoe dog for today. Hey, please, we're on our way to like, you know, four or five subscribers. So if you like this shoemaking content, please like and subscribe. Uh, link to the, uh, to the website down below. Thank you. Hey, listen, so we, we posted a video a couple days ago about strobel construction versus board lasting. And the, the question came up is, is why would you use either or could the same shoe be made with two constructions? And actually, um, if you're familiar with our book, How to Spot Fake Sneakers, um, you know, we we've actually show a shoe like this. So here's the Vans old school. And this shoe is in fact made, made both ways. And you'd be like, why would they do that? Well, because it's a fake, but here you go. So here is the uh, the regular correct old school. And here's the fake one. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that over here. All right, so, so here we go. This is a your Vans old school. Here's the, here's the fake one. Here's the real one. Now the real one, you know, it, it doesn't look great, but this is kind of how this kind of vulcanized shoe was made. So here you go. You've got the insole and the lasting board all together. And you can see here is the upper that's been, that's been board lasted. Now it's still stuck to the outsole. So we pulled the board out and you can just see sort of a little bit of the ragged edge and how it's pulled down. But that's your regular board last construction when you tear it apart. That's exactly how it looks. Okay, so set that aside. Now here, here's the fake one. And they've gone ahead and they've strobled it, right? So I actually, you notice a couple of things that this is actually vulcanized and this is actually a cup sole, right? It, not that a cup sole is better or worse. It's just it's just different. But for this kind of shoe, you know, the standard is, is vulcanized. Okay, so here we go. You can see that it's been strobled. And they put a little lasting board in on top uh, to give the shoe a little bit of stiffness because the outsole is is just a regular uh, 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 cup sole and egg crate. And you can see the, the footbed here is just a flat, flat piece of EVA. Actually, I mean, there's no taper to it either, which, you know, not going to be a great sort of standing position where this one actually has a little wedge. So your heels lifted. So here you go. Here is a, you know, a shoe that should be board lasted to the original and they've made the fake strobel. Now we've got some more here. Um, we also showed you this shoe. This is the Nike Daybreak, sort of classic Nike jogger. And in this shoe, this shoe is generally board lasted because the upper needs to wrap because the midsole is flat on top. There's no edge, like on a, on a vulcanized shoe, you've got, you've got the sidewall comes up over the edge of the upper, right? So you, if there could be a lot of mess going on here, but because the upper comes higher, it covers it. On this kind of shoe, you can see the midsole stops. There's no, there's no coverage. So you've got to, you've got to get the upper to wrap. So here again, this is the, the regular traditional construction and we'll peel the, the lasting board back a little bit here so you can see. And here it is, the upper wraps around the board and it's glued down to the board and because the upper wraps, then again, the edge is hidden. So this is the, the actual correct way, the vi sort of vintage authentic way that this shoe is made. Now here, here's a fake version and this shoe has been strobel. Now the, the question came up, you know, when you're looking at a strobel, does the strobel have to be the same size as the last bottom? And the answer is no. Here's a case where in order to in order to get the upper to wrap around so you could have a flat top midsole, they reduce the size of the strobel to pull the material in. And that's why you've got the material wraps around the corner and sort of goes flat so that you have this little flat edge where the strobel is bonded to the fit. So, you know, why, why would they make the fake shoe this way? Um, you know, maybe to save some material because when you when you have a board lasted shoe like this, you're taking your most expensive material, the leather, and you're wrapping it underneath the lasting board. Versus, uh, you know, in a strobel shoe, you basically can sort of stop it short. Uh, the other thing is the strobel is probably faster to make, right? Okay, so that's that's another option there. Now here's another shoe. And this is a wild shoe. You might not have seen this. This is a this is a by the Chinese brand Leaning. Uh, I you know I I enjoy these shoes because they're they're so wild and whatever they're ugly, but they're, there's a lot going on. But here we have the, the real one, and you can see that it's got a it's got a, a nice midsole, and you can see that it's got strobel construction, and you can see the strobel goes right to the edge, 
you know, of the last bottom inside. And, and that's because again, you've got a nice tall midsole that can, that can cover the edge, right? So you don't, you don't see it. Okay. Now here's, here's the fake one, right? So now the fake one, they've gone ahead and board last. And I mean, there's a lot going around here. I mean, first of all, where this is a, is a nice EVA outsole and EVA midsole. They've actually made a PU foam midsole and actually painted it. So there's actually no rubber on the bottom of this at all. You can see it's just one piece of foam that's been painted. Okay, so here you go. They they board last. And now they haven't used a firm board. They used they've used a a stiffer sort of fabric board. Uh, but you can see the upper has been wrapped and and glued down. And again, it's this is not a yeah, this is not a great way to make a shoe. But again, why would you do it this way? You know, good question. You know, the, you know, in, in this shoe, the real one is board lasted and the fake one is strobel. In in this shoe, the real one is strobel and the fake one is board lasted. I mean, part of the reason you might board last this is, uh, you know, di dialing in a strobel pattern is a little complicated. If you're just trying to go quick, down and dirty, and maybe use the same upper for two different sizes, then then you could do that if you if you're using the board lasting process. So that's it. I mean, uh, <laughs> like I said, you can make exactly the same shoe, whether it's strobled or board lasted. I mean, ideally, you know, versus like in the case of Vans, it's tradition that it would be board lasted uh, versus those Nike shoes. Now, actually, the interesting thing about this, this Nike Daybreak is that if you uh, go and buy this shoe today, right, this shoe, I bought whatever, two years ago, that shoe today, actually, they do strobel it. And maybe it's efficiency or for whatever reason, but it's kind of fascinating that, that Nike sort of modified that construction. I mean, of course, for efficiency said, you, you would do that. So anyways, that's it. Board last versus Strobel, take your pick. Uh, again, like I said, we're on our way to like half a dozen subscribers. If you like the shoemaking content and you want to hear more, hey, please, if you have a question about any of the shoemaking stuff, please feel free to ask me. Just ask down in the comments. I appreciate it. And please visit shoemakersacademy.com. We've got tons of books and videos and courses so you can learn about shoemaking and launch your shoemaking career. Thanks, and we'll see you there.